And on the second day of the 46th session of the UN Human Rights Council, Bolivian Foreign Minister Rogelio Maita emphasized that his government is carrying out various measures to promote national reconciliation in the wake of the 2019 coup against the legitimate government of Evo Morales. The government that I represent is undertaking several actions to achieve national reconciliation, including promoting the investigation of the interdisciplinary group of independent experts acting within the framework of the protocol signed in November 2020 between the Bolivian government and the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights. Because of our historical experience, we understand that in order to look forward, we must fight for accountability for the abuses committed in the past. We understand that this responsibility must be assumed by our state and by the entire international community. This must apply to all countries, small and large, for past and present acts. Whether it be taking responsibility for centuries of slavery in the global north or for recent coups in the global south, often led by the north. The Bolivian foreign minister also emphasized the need to strengthen the fight against discrimination and racism. We must stop judging people according to their religious beliefs, their nationality and their ethnic identity. We must value everyone based on the inherent dignity of the human condition that is the permanent basis of human rights. We must fight against racism in all its manifestations. We cannot tolerate institutionalized discrimination against Muslims in France. The Palestinians are denied the COVID-19 vaccine, that members of ethnic minorities have been killed and tortured in places like the Western Sahara, and that people who speak Spanish and look like me with brown skin are separated from their families when they show up at the U.S.-Mexico border. Racist nationalism represents one, if not the greatest threat to democracy and human rights.